it. It's time I made it to the top. Give me a break, I'm looking forward. Get behind me, pull out every stop. I want a happy ending, I'm tired of pretending. Well, let them get the best of me. Whoa, 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 give me a break. Dad, it's awful hard for Nell to stick to her diet when you're stuffing your face like that. I'm not stuffing my face. That's right. He's eating for two, in case he gets pregnant. Listen, don't take it out on me. If you want to starve yourself, that's your problem. Hey, I'm not taking it out on you. I feel great. I'm eating clean, lean, and healthy. After all, you are what you eat. Another helping of jackass cheese? <laughs> See what I mean? You take away their trough and they get vicious. I don't think you're fat, Nell. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. But if I gain any more weight, I'm gonna have to trade in my nightgown for a hefty bag. <laughs> See, that's why I joined this diet group. Nell, you're wasting your time with that school for whales. <laughs> you don't have a problem. Most of that weight is nothing but water. You could lose it in a minute. Just squirt it out through your trunk. Dad! You know, Dad, Nell's diet group is meeting here tomorrow night. Maybe you should stick around. I don't have to go for that kind of stuff. No, you're pretty well stuffed already. Now listen, I may be a little husky, but I'm not one of your fatso friends, so just back off. Boy, Daddy. And you cut the comedy and eat your dinner. I don't want any more. Well, eat it anyway. I gotta go down to the station house and finish up some reports. Daddy, I don't think you need to lose any weight. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I like you just the way you are. All warm and soft and gushy. Good night. Okay, your turn, Mrs. Brody. Oh, very good, Mrs. Brody. You've lots. Okay, group, pay attention. One, One two, two, three. three. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Okay. That's perfect. Thanks. 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 Mrs. Weiss. <laughs> ah, the place looks great now. Oh, thanks. You did a real nice job with the refreshments. Yeah. I was trying to find ways to get cottage cheese on a toothpick. Group. <laughs> One. Two. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go next. I'll go next. Oh, it seems we can always expect good news from you, Mr. Meyer. It's just a matter of self-discipline and control. One, two, three, four. <laughs> just a minute. I lost four and a quarter pounds. That was only four. Where's my other quarter pound? And a quarter. <laughs> All I want is what is coming to me. Fine. Bend over and smile. <laughs> okay, group, now that everyone's weighed in. Nell hasn't weighed oh, in. Oh, no, no, wait, that's okay. It doesn't no, 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 no. Club rules, club rules. All members have to weigh in before the meetings begin. <laughs> uh, Mr. Meyer's uh, right now. <laughs> Get a 
hold of yourself. Oh, I am weak. I am weak and spineless. I don't deserve to be in this club. It's only two pounds. That girl and her damn Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> That's right. This is Girl Scout season. So remember, a cookie in the hand turns to blubber on your can. <laughs> The thing to remember is just to pick yourself up and start all over again. Okay, I'll, I'll try. Oh, I'll try. try. That's wonderful. Okay, group. Welcome to the weekly meeting of people organized to reduce and kick obesity. Porco. <laughs> I see that some of our new members are a little bit late, so we might as well begin. So if you'll all please stand for the club motto. <laughs> Candies, cakes, and salted nuts Show up on our thighs and butts Brands for peace, tummy jumbo We don't want to look like Dumbo <laughs> Very good, group. If you'll all please be seated now <laughs> All right, now let's review The important thing about losing weight is not just to diet. We have to remember behavior, behavior control. control. Very good. What's important is to change our fatty habits. Rule number one, always sit in the same place when what? you eat. I do that. I really do. I always sit mm -hmm. in the same place. Where do you sit? In the refrigerator? <laughs> if you don't watch it, I'm going to sit on your head. <laughs> A new member, a new member. Shh, y'all get ready. Hey, 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 hey. A new Fly, member. girl. Get ready, y'all. <clears throat> Hi. I'm looking for Porco. I hope I'm not too late. Oh, it's never too late. All right, group. Let's welcome a brand new Porco into the group. Uh, hit it. You're a disgusting fat soul. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, it's Thank just, you. <laughs> just our way of saying welcome to the Porco family. Uh, take a seat. Or seats, if necessary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why don't we uh, tell each other just exactly how we got our bad eating habits? Edna? Oh. <laughs> well, my parents used to bribe me with food. I mean, either candy if I was good, or, or no dessert if I was bad. And the best way to please them was to clean my plate. <laughs> well, as you can see, I, I made my parents deliriously happy. <laughs> Nell? Huh? <laughs> oh. Well, um, my earliest memory is of my mother standing across the room waving a marshmallow cookie. She was trying to get me to take my first step. Did it work? I learned to run before I could walk. <laughs> You're a disgusting fan. I suppose you bunch clear the hell out of here. Do you have to yell? Why? You afraid a loud noise might stampede the herd? Chief, can I see you in the kitchen? Yeah. There are a few things I want to talk to you about. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I hate that. I got stuck in the door once. With who? No one. 
You did that on purpose. I did not. But it just goes to prove that you have a weight problem there. And there. And there. Will you knock it off? I'm sick and tired of all this fat talk. I don't want to hear any more of it. I... <sighs> Chief! Chief, Chief. Chief, Chief, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Somebody call an ambulance, Chief. Chief, please. No, that's all right, I'm fine, I'm Chief. fine. I can't stand this dumb diet. You got to stick to the diet, Chief. I mean, next time it may not be a gas attack. It could be a heart attack or a stroke. Or even worse, you could explode in public. <laughs> I've only eaten two. You have to wave that thing in my face? Sorry, Daddy. Well, do something with it. <laughs> There's one thing I hate, it's Twinkie breath. <laughs> Where are you two going? Oh, well, we didn't want to eat fattening stuff in front of you guys. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. So, we're going out to get a hot fudge sundae. <laughs> well, have a good time. Oh, and while you're out enjoying your hot fudge sundae, your daddy and I are gonna go to your rooms and burn up all your dolls. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Want one? I hate fools that you can hear. Three weeks. Three weeks of nothing but lettuce, celery, and carrots. I wonder why rabbits aren't more vicious. <laughs> I keep finding myself thinking of food. Do you? Constantly. <laughs> now let's watch some TV, huh? Maybe it'll take our minds off food. Boy, that Burt Reynolds can really act, huh? He can shift my gears any time. Double Dutch chocolate fudge cake. <laughs> so moist, so luscious. Try the double Dutch chocolate fudge cake. <laughs> what goes great with milk? The <laughs> Pie goes great with me. Oh, I hate your guts, RJ, and that's why I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, that's all right. I've been shot before. Not where I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> great fried chicken. Crispy on the outside, tender and delicious on the inside. Let's talk about something. Right. I see where they're rezoning 3rd Street for commercial development. Oh, that's real exciting. Read me some more. It's gonna be a bookstore, laundromat, pizza dome, bowling alley, gift shop. Pizza dome. <laughs> you know, I don't like their pizza. Me either. Their pizza's not as good as Mario's. He always gives you plenty of cheese. Yeah, that's the way the uh, anchovies don't slide around on the top. <laughs> Ooh, anchovies, ain't they some? Imagine, God created a whole breed of fish just for pizza. <laughs> you know, now, there's one Italian dish you make that's better than Mario's. Yeah? Yeah, your lasagna. Oh, thank you. It's only natural. See, my uh, great-grandfather, he was owned by an Italian. <laughs> Your lasagna makes Mario's taste like it came out of a can. Uh, the funny thing is, you know, yesterday, I made lasagna for the girls. They hardly ate any. Yeah, well, what do they know, huh? Their taste buds are too skinny. No, no, it was something different. I don't know now. It was something just different, you know? Well, if you want to make sure, I can tell you. Huh? 
I wouldn't have to eat it. I can tell just by smelling. <laughs> Believe me, the nose knows. <laughs> hey, how many calories can be in a sniff? <laughs> Smells pretty good. <laughs> of course, how much can you tell by smelling? You're absolutely right. Here. It's pretty good. You don't think I need more oregano? No, not oregano. But there is something missing. <laughs> basil? Maybe it's basil. Wait a minute. Basil. You're right. You know, it's hard to tell when it's cold like this. You know, when you heat it up, it gets real spicy, you know? And the tomatoes and the cheese, they roll around together. And the sauce really gets a hold of the meat. I'll heat up some. Well, don't uh, really heat it, you know, just warm it. Just, uh, you know, warm the frost off it. <laughs> Unless you want to be a fanatic about this diet thing. <laughs> no, I don't want to be a fanatic. <laughs> Aren't you gonna have any? You know, what's life without a little pleasure? Mm. To me, life without pleasure is like coffee without cream. Or bagels without cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Or lasagna without garlic bread. <laughs> I'll get the butter and the garlic. I'll get the bread and the wine. Honey, isn't that fattening? Oh, no, no, no. That's sweet wine. This is very dry wine. Chief, this wine here is so dry, it'll make you lose weight. How long is that thing going to take? That depends on how hot you want it. That was pretty good cold. Do we have any grated cheese left? <laughs> hey, here's a half-open can of sardines. <laughs> I haven't had a sardine sandwich since I was a kid. Well, bring the bologna and the cheese with you then. Hey, what for? I'll be damned if I'm gonna stand here empty-handed and watch you eat a sardine sandwich. <laughs> Any sardines on there? Sardines on bologna and cheese? Oh, that's sick. Why not? Go ahead. Where's the mustard? <clears throat> we'll be really good tomorrow. I'll skip lunch. I won't eat all day. I won't eat till next Thursday. Peanut butter! I want peanut butter! <laughs> butter. I hate myself. Well, I, I'll, eat, I'll eat yours, then. The hell you will! <laughs>
Boy, did we do this? Uh-huh. Boy, we really must have been desperate last night. You think this is bad? I found teeth prints in the wax fruit. I don't remember any mixed nuts. Oh, yeah. I put them in the blender. <laughs> with the tuna fish. Is that why it was so crunchy? Chief, I don't know how we're gonna get these toasted marshmallows out the toast. It seemed like a good idea at the time. What happened in here? Did the refrigerator throw up? Never mind. Just eat your breakfast before you're late for school. Boy, must have been some party. Dad, are you okay? You look sort of green. My stomach is a little upset. Well, I gotta get to school. Hey, 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 you're not finished. I don't want any more. You're not going anywhere till you finish your breakfast. But, Daddy, I'm not hungry. I didn't ask if you were hungry. Okay. It'll make you happy. Yes, it'll make me happy. Don't you know that there are millions of kids starving in the world? If we said them what we ate last night, they could eat for a month. <laughs> we're not gonna throw good food away. Sure. Use me as a human garbage pail. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Stop. Samantha, go to school, honey. You don't have to eat that if you don't want to. Hey, what the hell are you doing? I'm her father. Yeah, you her father. You're her fat father. <laughs> and I'm the fat housekeeper. She's a beautiful, thin little girl. Let's not do the same thing to her. You really not hungry? All right, go on, get out of here. Thanks, Daddy. Bye now. Bye, baby. Well, what do they say in the club? When you fall down, pick yourself up and start all over again? Yep, that's right. <laughs> Breakfast is served.
it It's time I made it to the top Give me a break, I'm looking forward Get behind me, pull out every stop I want a happy ending, I'm tired of pretending Won't let them get the best of me Whoa, 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 give me a break What are you doing? I'm trying to finish my 200 word book report for school. <laughs> I'm 23 words short. <laughs> Let me see what you got so far. Okay, book report, Treasure Island. Treasure Island is a very, very good book. I had a very, very good time reading it. <laughs> Robert Louis Stevenson is a very, 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 very good writer. Long John Silver is a very, 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 very mean guy. <laughs> Samantha, you are going to get a very, very bad grade, honey. Did you tell I was trying to stretch it? Well, I haven't seen that much padding since my high school prom. <laughs> Hi, Mel. Hi. Hi, you cutie. Mwah. Hi, Julie. Katie, I have a date tonight. I've been waiting for an hour for that cream rinse so I can wash my hair. Katie! I forgot! Great. My first real date, and I'm gonna look like Rod Stewart. <laughs> Katie, honey, weren't you supposed to pick up my pantyhose and a cover for her book report? What happened? Well, what happened is I met this terrific guy named Steve. Who works behind the counter? In other words, you didn't get anything. Yes, I did. I got a date for Saturday night. As long as you picked up something. <laughs> That's just like you, Katie. Putting your own personal lust ahead of Nell's pantyhose. <laughs> I'll see if your father can stop at the drugstore on the way home. I'll give him a call at headquarters. Don't forget my book report cover. Okay. Or my cream rinse. Okay. Oh, and lip gloss. <laughs> Get your stuff. Hello, Chief Kaniski, please. It's his mistress. <laughs> Hello? Hey, hey, Kojak. Put all the money in a brown paper bag and. Jeez. <laughs> Cops have no sense of humor. Listen, Chief, I need some pantyhose. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Daddy and listen, Daddy, 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 big ones. <laughs> Hello, uh, Dr. Perlman? Yeah, this is the pharmacist that drugs are us. Yeah, w well, I have a question on Mrs. Garva's prescription. Now, what does this mean? 20 tablets of Pinocchio. <laughs> penicillin? What you wrote here is supposed to be penicillin? <laughs> what do you do? Wait until you're in surgery and then write them with your feet? <laughs> sir, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Uh, Okie dokie. You have your um, eyeshadow. You have your mascara, your um, blusher. Anything else you need, uh, tiger? Lip gloss. Passionate pink lip gloss. Kissable crimson would be much better with your coloring. This stuff is not for me. Of course it isn't. It's for my little girl. Sure it is. Queen size pantyhose for daddy's little girl. <laughs> what is she, a Green Bay Packer? That's for my housekeeper. Uh huh. Well, will that be all? I need a report uh, cover, like for a school report. They're over there on the other side of the counter. Okay, pal. Yeah, I'll be with you in a second, just as soon as I'm finished with Her Royal Highness. I'm talking now. Hold it. 
Right there. Easy with that gun, fella. Shut up, Pops! How the hell do you open this damn thing? What, is this it? There's no more cash? That's it. What do you mean, that's it? Well, no, no one uses cash anymore. There's less than 50 bucks here. Look, son, why don't you just take I ain't your son! Now, I better see some bucks, Pop. And fast! That's all there is. Okay. Okay. Would you get down on the floor? Now, I'm giving you one more chance, old man. Please, freeze! He's captain of the football team, 6'2", dark, wavy hair, brown eyes. He's so gorgeous now. I've been trying to... I wonder to... why Dad's not home yet. Oh, honey, he probably got lucky with the meet a maid. <laughs> I've been trying to meet him for, like, the longest time. Thanks again for forgetting my cream rinse. Look, I said I was sorry. No, you didn't. I didn't? No. Oh. <laughs> Why couldn't I have been an only child? What are you making such a fuss about? You're the one that said boys only care about girls' bodies. This is the 1980s, Sam. Packaging is everything. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Hi, Dad. Hi, honey. Dad? Did you bring me my cream rinse? Oh, uh, no, uh, uh... I forgot something came up. Oh, I'm sorry. Dad, I really needed that. Thanks, Dad. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. It's only the most important thing in my whole I life. I forgot. Dad. Hey, hey, Chief. Are you going for a little swim before dinner? <laughs> Dad, are you okay? I know what it is. Dad, I guess maybe I came down a little hard on you about the cream rinse. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's not that. There was an incident uh, while I was in the drugstore. What kind of incident? This kid with a gun tried to hold up the place. Wow. Oh, Dad. What happened? He turned his gun on me. Wow. And I shot him. <laughs> I never shot anybody before. They took him to the hospital. I don't know how bad it is. Anyway, that's why I didn't get your cream rinse. Chief, are you okay? Mm -hmm. You know, Dad, that's just what happened to Punch last week on Chips. <laughs> Here's the bad guy. He has his gun, and he makes his move. But then, you get the drop on him! Samantha, stop. And you blast Stop, him. Samantha! Help. All right, Samantha, that's enough! <laughs> Look, Samantha, it's not like it is on TV, all nice and neat and clean. That boy didn't just lie down and close his eyes and go to sleep. His eyes were open. They were staring. And he was talking, begging me for help. And there was gobs of blood and skin all over the wall. Real blood. On me. Dad. You could have been killed. He was just a kid. Only a couple of years older than you, maybe. Yeah, Chief, but he was a kid with a gun. Look, the kid's gonna be fine. You'll see. Everybody knows what a lousy shot you are. <laughs> I'll get that. Hello? Yes, it is. Oh, hi, Captain Lucchese. Yeah. Just 
just a moment. Chief, your prisoner died. Kaniski. Yeah. An investigation. Yeah, I understand. Well, thanks for the lift, Gus. Hey, I may be with Internal Affairs, but we're both part of the old Law & Order team, right? Trying to keep our streets safe from the walking trash and slime and scum out there. It's a nice place. Thanks. <laughs> Do you want to come in? <laughs> well, I can only stay a minute, but, uh... Oh, Nell, uh, this is Inspector Gus Lambert. Uh, Gus, this is, uh, Nell, our housekeeper. Hey, Big Mama, give me a high five. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a high one, and you'll never guess where. Uh, Chief, how did the investigation go? Okay, I guess so. Let me know. Can you beat that? An investigation. A cop dumps one lousy punk, and suddenly the bleeding hearts are screaming for an investigation. The papers, the politicians, the minorities. Watch it, Jack. Oh, this is one minority that will be all over you with both feet. Hey, hey, no offense. Don't be so modest. You really are offensive. A little high strung, ain't you, Carl? Uh, look, Gus, I appreciate you driving me home, but I got a lot on my mind. Yeah. First kill, huh? Yeah. Yeah, don't sweat it. After the second and third time, it'll be just like brushing your teeth. <laughs> and listen, don't worry about that investigation. It was a good, clean shoot. You just stick to your story, and everything's gonna be fine. What story? The way I told it is the way it happened. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna come out of this smelling like a rose. A good kill looks great on all those reports. Yeah, look, uh, Gus, it's been a long day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been murder, right? <laughs> oh, hey, uh, listen, I almost forgot. Uh, I'm gonna have to hold your gun till after the investigation. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I'll go get it. Hey. Hey, you're not carrying your weapon? Uh, no, I... I guess I forgot. How can you go and forget your piece? I mean, walking out of the house without your gun is like uh, walking into the men's room without your... <laughs> badge. <laughs> thanks. Now listen, you want a you wanna different gun in the meantime? Oh, no, no, thanks. Well, I got a couple extra out in the car. I got a Colt, a Walther, Smith & Wesson. No, thank you. I got Chris. a Beretta, sawed-off shotgun. All right. Hey, are you driving a tank? <laughs> There's a lot of weirdos out there in the street. The weirdo population just went up one. Now don't let him get to you now. He's not a bad guy underneath. Underneath what? A sheet? <laughs> Jeez. Hey, you didn't really forget your gun this morning, did you? I don't even know if I want it in the house anymore. Look, I think I'll go out for a while, take a little walk. That's a good idea. I'll be home for dinner. Yeah, take a walk, you know, and try to get this off your mind. Hey, how about something special for dinner? Well, you know what might be good is some of that uh, great beef stroganoff you make. It was a little late, but hey, I'll take a shot at it. <laughs> I have the distinct taste of a foot in my mouth. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, hi. You're a priest? Why does everybody always ask that? <laughs> Look, uh, it's nothing personal, but uh, is your boss around? Oh, yes, he's... He's all around. Oh. Well, I didn't want to go that high. I meant your pastor. Father Donovan is on official business this afternoon. He's, uh, 
He's in Van Nuys uh, picking up a new set of bingo balls. <laughs> uh, how can I help you, my son? Well, father, I was uh, out taking a little walk and I happened to be passing by and I just thought, I want to make my confession. Where's the confessional? Well, it's in the church, but uh, we can do it right here in the rectory. Don't you have to go into to one of those little dark booths? Oh, not really. That's uh, sort of like Fish on Friday and uh, Saint, uh, well, Mr. Christopher. It's, uh, <laughs> it's optional now. I see. A lot of people find that a small informal room is a nice place uh, to rap. Well, I I'm not here to rap. I want to confess. It's awful light in here. I'm not following you. Well, sins belong in the dark. Uh, well, if you want, I can get the keys. We can unlock the church. Oh, don't bother. Uh, I tell you what, uh, we could turn our chairs uh, side by side. It'll It'll have the same effect. Oh, that's not necessary. <laughs> it is necessary. Go ahead. Well, look, uh, Father, it's been quite a while since my last confession. How long? Seven years. <laughs> Sorry. Father, I, I want to confess a very big sin. Yes? I shot a man. Wow. During a holdup. Holy Moses. Jeez. Have you thought about turning yourself in? Well, no, I'm not the crook. I'm a cop. Oh. <laughs> the guy I shot died. I'm, I'm sorry. And I would like absolution for my sin. Was there malice in your heart? What? Did you say to yourself, now I'm going to kill this guy? Well, no, he turned his gun on me and I shot him. Well, it's self-defense. See, you're a police officer and um, you did what you did in the line of duty. Well, what line of duty? I was buying a pair of pantyhose. <laughs> Well, what happened is a great tragedy, but you didn't do it intentionally. Look, believe me, God understands. And even when something terrible like this happens, he understands and he continues to love us. What is it? I just don't feel like being loved right now. Look, it's, uh, it's not going to be easy, but you'll get through it. Life just goes on. I've got something that might help. Uh, how about a little blue nun? We can put Sister Teresa in the refrigerator. <laughs> It always works when Father Donovan tells it. Whoa, I'm not in the box. You guys, oh, forget it. There's the no way. Oh, hey, you guys, hold it, hold it, hold it. Look, Steve is driving me to school, and he doesn't want a couple of giggly kids tagging along. I don't giggle. I have a deep, sexy laugh. <laughs> <laughs> You just want to be alone so you can lock lips in the teacher's parking lot. <laughs> lock lips. Julie, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. She still has oatmeal breath. <laughs> you guys are getting disgusting. I said it's so gross. Hey, 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 you kids. Cut out the racket. There's enough noise and fighting and violence out on the street. I don't need any more in my own home. Sorry, Dad. We didn't mean to bother you. Come on, you guys. Yeah. We'll just be going to school now. I will study real hard. So we can grow up and make this world a better place to live in. 
I love you, Daddy. Good morning, Chief. So you're finally up, huh? How you doing? Fine. Would you mind moving? Fine. Your hair is on fire. Good. Hey, Chief. Chief, what's the matter? What is it? Mm -hmm. Is it the investigation? Oh, no. I, I imagine they'll clear me. They'll understand. The kids understand. The church understands. Everybody understands. So why do I feel so lousy? Well, maybe it's because you don't understand. I don't know if I'm ever going to get over this now. Look at me, huh? Four days and my hand's still shaking. I don't know if I can stand being a cop any longer. I'm thinking seriously of retiring. Don't do that to yourself. Look, you're a good cop. You know, you're the, the kind of cop that we need, the kind that really hates it. Just a minute. It's Inspector Lobotomy. <laughs> you ought to be grateful you got a job. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Carl, I thought I'd bring the good news in person. Word from the DA's office is... Justifiable homicide. Circumstances warranted use of deadly force. <laughs> hey, gee, now that's good news. Yeah. You see, even the police understand. Thank you, Gus. And, uh... And I guess you'll be uh, happy to get this back, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's great to see justice done for once. Hey, what do you say we go hoist a few to celebrate? Celebrate? Yeah. Oh, hey. Listen, I got a, got a little memento for you from ballistics. What is it? It's the bullet. See? They put a little hole in it so you could wear it on your keychain. Oh. Gus, could you go home now? What? What did I say? I mean, what's he so touchy about? I think it's a sudden attack of good taste. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought you were my kind of people. Carl, what kind of cop are you? I don't really know, Gus, but I think I'm a pretty good cop. No. If my chair's empty any longer, they might put him in it. Well, you gonna do something about that? Yeah, I'm going back to work. Well, all right, Big Daddy. Give me a high five. Yeah. 
Rupert's Q. You girls are gonna love this. The guy in the store said it's a test of real intelligence. You're flunking, Daddy. <laughs> Maybe you should have shot it open. <laughs> Rupert's Cube is a puzzle designed to confound and confuse. It has six sides, six colors, and 26 subcubes. The solution can take days, weeks, or months. There are three billion combinations, but only one answer. Here, yeah, I don't want to spoil your fun. <laughs> you want to get the door, Julie? Sure, it's probably Nell's date. Oh, hi, Angie. Come on in. Hi, Julie. <laughs> it's Julie. Oh, I'm glad you changed. It's much prettier than Joni. <laughs> Is Nell ready? Not yet, Angie. You and Nell going on a hot date tonight? Yeah. I've never seen Nell so excited. Who is this guy? That's your father, silly. <laughs> <laughs> His name's Bill. Oh, that Bill. Right. They have a thing for each other. He plays football with the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, yeah? What's his position? I'm not sure. He's either a tight end or a wide receiver or a wide receiver with a cute tight end. <laughs> What's that? It's a puzzle. The idea is to get each side into one solid color. Oh, cute. Can I try? It's pretty complicated, Angie. This is the kind of puzzle that can drive you out of your mind. <laughs> I guess we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Hi, Angie. Hi. Well, Miss Katie, how do I look, dear? That's a terrific outfit, Nell. Mm, I know. Just something that took me all of five hours to slip into. <laughs> Are you ready? As soon as I stuff my feet in these shoes. Would you help me, girl? Oh, sure. Child, I will never lie about my shoe size again. I don't care how good-looking the salesman is. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's almost 8.30. Weren't the guys supposed to have been here a half hour ago? Maybe they're late. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder that maybe we're being stood up. Oh, Nell, Bill and Frank wouldn't do a thing like that. Bill is too nice of a guy. And my Frank, well, he's only stood me up once, and even then he had a good excuse. Yeah, what was that? He was kidnapped by men from Mars. <laughs> you bought that? It's true. He even bought back one of their candy bars. <laughs> That's them now. Come on, let's go. Ah. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Dancing. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, Nell. Huh? Do you want me to turn out the porch light? No, dear. When I go out with a man, I want to see everything. Good night. Hey, Chief. This cube's no good. No matter what I do, all the colors match. Maybe it's easier when your head is square. Ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> Your hand, will you go home? Are you, you coming with me? No. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh you ought to stop. Oh, Don't stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> I'm Bill. Do we know each other? Yeah, you might have seen me. I'm number 37. You mean there are 36 more of you in there? <laughs> well, I want to talk. I'll be with you in a moment, Chief. <laughs> Sweetheart. Here, honey, you forgot your good luck charm. Mm. I don't want you to hurt anything. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Yes. Uh, thank you, Nell. Yeah. Uh, am I going to see you later after practice? I don't know. <laughs> I think I got something to straighten out here first, you know? Mm, I can see that. Yes. <laughs> uh, so long, sugar. Yes, babe. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Stop. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Chief, want an early morning breakfast? 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 Shh. Breakfast? Okay, breakfast is over. How about lunch? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Dragging a man into your bedroom in the middle of the night? Drag? Chief, I never had to drag anybody anywhere. <laughs> I was just like a helpless leaf blown away in a stone. <laughs> oh, Chief, come on. We didn't plan it. First, we were kissing on the couch, and then we were hugging on the couch, and pretty soon, we just did not need that couch anymore. <laughs> now, I am sorry if you are upset. Upset? I'm outraged at, 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 at the moral insensitivity of some of the people in this house. Stop. You got somebody in your room, too? <laughs> <laughs> Nell, I'm not gonna stand for this. Not where my kids live. Wait a minute. I love those kids just as much as you do. I wouldn't do anything wrong in front of them. And you're not going to get the chance. And what's that supposed to mean? It means that I'm the law in this house, and if you don't like it, you can always leave. I quit. Good. Goodbye. That's just like you. You don't even have the courtesy to give me notice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll mail it to you on a brick. Be sure to separate your wash into whites and colors. Okay. Color, white, white, white. Color, white. Good morning, Daddy. Is my lunch ready? Lunch? Well, yeah. Nell always made my lunch for me. Oh, okay. No problem. A loaf of bread and peanut butter? What is this? Sandwiches. It's a kit. <laughs> Daddy. Okay, here. Buy your lunch in the cafeteria today. You want me to eat in the cafeteria? It is so scuzzy in there. <laughs> the cook wears a hairnet over her lip. Go! Out! I'm going! Sam. Oh, you're not going to do another load of laundry, are you? Right, but this time you don't have to worry. I'm going to get it right. Okay. I just came to kiss you goodbye. Bye-bye, sweetheart. 
Hey, put your sweater on. It's cold outside. Do I have to? Samantha, please, do as your father says, huh? Okay. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'll buy you another one tomorrow. You don't have to do that. Just wash one of yours. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Dad. Hi. Excuse me, Mother Hubbard, but the cupboard is bare. I know, I know. I'm going to try to get to the market on my lunch break. What's that stuff you kids are always asking for? Food. <laughs> Dad, when's Nell coming back? I told you she's not coming back, and I don't want to discuss it. But, Dad, we have rights, too, and we want her back. Please, you don't have to eat the core. You're not that hungry. <laughs> Look, we don't need Nell. I've got everything under control. <laughs> Control building. Then he said he wanted me to give him something under the table, so I gave him a kick. <laughs> it's cold in here. Oh, yeah. He turned off the heat, too. Oh, that's great. And I forgot my thermal bra. <laughs> well, listen, I'm gonna uh, fix some tea. Great. Yes. I'm sorry about you and the chief. Oh, that's okay, Angie. Look, I'm glad to be out of there. That man's brain is so small, you could suck it through a straw and never touch the side. <laughs> I used to have trouble drinking with straws. Then I start taking the paper off them. <laughs> can such a small head hold so much air? I sleep with the windows open. <laughs> hey, uh, this thing's not boiling. Neil, a watch pot never boils. Besides, my landlord turned off the gas, too. <laughs> Angie, if there is no door, no gas, and I'm freezing to death, why did you invite me over here? Hey, Nell. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Lightly coating the turkey with butter, you can begin stuffing the bird. Okay? Bend over, bird. <laughs> this is gonna hurt you more than it hurts me. Hi. Oh, wow, it smells great in here. I haven't started cooking yet. Well, that's what I mean. Nothing's burning. <laughs> oh. Uh, 
Half the stuffing, next crust the bird by sewing it up with needle and string. I don't know why women make such a big thing about cooking. <laughs> I'm coming! Just a minute, I'll be there! All right, all right! Yeah? You're cleaning, sir. Oh, thank you. Oh, sorry to disturb you. I mean, what you do in the privacy of your own home is your own business. Forget the cracks. What do I owe you? $14.98. Put it on my tab. Uh, wait, how about something extra for me? I'll save you the giblets. <laughs> Dad, what's going on? Nothing. I always stand around with my hand up a turkey. <laughs> you eat a turkey sandwich. Now listen, I'm tired of smart cracks. Now you all go up there and... Was that turkey to go? I am somebody. I am somebody. I... I am somebody. <laughs> Today is the first day of the rest of the day. <laughs> Out with the bad thoughts, in with the good thoughts. Oops, I just swallowed a bad thought. Angie, what are you doing? I'm trying to get my head into a better space. Have you tried Earth? <laughs> Listen, I'm tired. I'm going to get some sleep. Me too. Oh. <laughs> Angie. Angie. What? Let me listen to that. Just like I thought. There's no music in here. I know that. I was just keeping my ears warm. Well, what was all this? It keeps the flies away. Maybe I'm dreaming. This is not happening. Night. Now? Yeah. Want a pillow fight? <laughs> Angie. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, Neil. <laughs> Angie, dear, what's that? Silly, this Ralph, my teddy bear. If you squeeze him, he talks. Hello, I'm Mr. Bear. And if you don't go to sleep, I'll eat you. <laughs> Angie, give me your bear. Give me your bear. Did you cut the light out? Good morning, Chief. Good morning. Excuse me, please. Good morning. 
morning. Can I see some of the paper? Yeah, what part you want? Oh, sports. There you go. Thanks. Uh, I see the Cowboys lost yesterday. Yeah, I watched the game. Field goal in the last three seconds. You know, I never had uh, much chance to talk with Bill. But he seems like a nice guy. Well, the Cowboys don't think so. He fumbled three times in the second half. A little sleepy? Oh, I'm just tired. Yeah, I could use more sleep myself. Upstairs toilet kept running all night. Oh, that's easy to fix. You just jingle the handle a couple of times and give it a kick. Yeah, I tried that. I'm having my toe x-rayed this afternoon. <laughs> Did you have some breakfast? Yeah. What you have? Piece of toast and a 45-minute egg. problem with the window. The turkey flew through it. <laughs> it's the truth, believe me. Listen, I should have warned you. First you kill it, then you pluck it. <laughs> Look, I'm tired. I'm gonna go take a nap. Yeah, well, I gotta get to work. I got a pile of paper waiting for me at the station house. Oh, no. Yes? About Bill. What about Bill? If you tell him to tuck the ball under his arm like this, he won't make so many fumbles. <laughs> okay, I'll tell him that. Thanks, Chief. And you're welcome. George S. Jones currently serves as president of WAEN-TV here in Atlanta, Georgia. Mr. Jones has been developing television networks for others for over 15 years. This has afforded him experience in every area of television networking. Fueled by his aspirations to contribute to community development and to assist with the growth of small businesses, he later came up with the idea to develop a worldwide television network that would impact local communities. Thus, WAEN-TV was born. Mr. Jones's educational achievements have aided him tremendously in his role as leader of this organization. In 1975, he received his Bachelor of Arts in Mass Communication from Francis Marion College while concurrently earning an associate degree as an electrician from Williamsburg Technical College. Mr. Jones has produced several special functions for many community churches and nonprofit organizations. One of his most recent successes was the production of the first 100 Black Men of Atlanta banquet where his work was greatly applauded. George also displays his versatility with the production of music videos. Included in his resume, you will find a number of successful music artists including former So So Deaf recording artist Chris Kelly of the famed hip-hop duo Chris Cross. Speed it up 
Nell, I gotta be on that plane in 45 minutes. Chief, if the good Lord had meant for me to go in it faster, I would have been born with racist stripes. <laughs> well, get a move on anyway, huh? I don't want to be late for that police convention. Why, would they work you up with a rubber hose? <laughs> Hurry it up, girls. I gotta get out of here. Here. Just throw everything into the suitcase. He may not be neat, but he sure won't be nude. <laughs> hey, Dad, I love your shorts. Yeah, all those cute little red ants running around. <laughs> I know. Could you see the maid walking? Hi, honey. What's all the fuss about? Oh, yeah, Daddy has to catch a flight to New York. Oh, yeah, I forgot. What you got there? Well, me and Dewey Minton are going fishing in the morning. He's scared of slimy things, so I had to catch the night crawlers. A woman's work is never done. I don't see how anybody could be scared of big, fat, cuddly worms. <laughs> no, my teacher says someday we'll be eating them for protein. Well, that's one diet I'm sure I could lose weight on. <laughs> Got some real beauties here. This one's practically a meal in itself. <laughs> and me without a Kaiser roll. Take that outside. <laughs> and wash your hands. Twice. <laughs> Three times. Oh, whatever happened to sugar and spice and everything nice? Someone here call a cab. Yeah, come on in. Hey, lady, I ain't got all day. Get a move on, huh? If I put a move on you, you couldn't handle it. <laughs> Come on, Chief, step on it. Come on. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, Dad, can I borrow your fishing rod? What for? I'm going fishing with Dewey over at Miller's Pond. Samantha, I don't like you going fishing without somebody to look after you. Well, Dewey's brother's going with us. Oh, how old is he? Almost five. <laughs> no, Samantha, you're gonna have to wait till I come back. But Dad, I'm sorry, I'm... honey. Now, please, don't give me any argument. I gotta run. <laughs> Samantha. Hey, pal, we going or what? <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm waiting for my kiss. We'll kiss in the cab. <laughs> oh, Chief, she'll be all right. I'll have a talk with her. Bye, bye, honey. Mm, bye, Dad. Bye, sweetheart. Bye, Daddy. Well, I'll see you all next week. Right. Oh, listen, when you go to bed at night, make sure to check that everything's locked. Ten four. And just remember one thing. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. <gasps> oh, great girls, a whole week of drinking beer and lying around in our underwear watching TV. <laughs> Why can't I go fishing? Because your father loves you and he worries about you. Ha! Huh. Oh, come on, Samantha. You can go fishing when your father gets back. What am I supposed to do with all these worms? <laughs> I got it. Hello? Yes, it is. Mama? Is that you, Mama? Wait, wait, what is it? A heart attack? When? Well, what, what did the doctor say? Okay. Okay. Mama, um, tell Daddy, I said, to hang in there. I, I'm coming home. I love you, Mama. Bye. They don't think that my Daddy is going to make it. I haven't set eyes on that man since I left Alabama uh, 16 years ago. Okay, girls, pack up. We are shipping out, okay? No, I can't go. Why? I got a bio test on Monday. Dad will kill me if I miss it. No, we're old enough to take care of ourselves. Besides, I've got a date with Ernie tomorrow night. Is he the one that always cancels out the last minute? Yeah. But if I'm not here when he calls to cancel, he'll never ask me out again. <laughs> okay, you two uh, stay. Samantha, you pack, honey. You're going to Alabama with me. Your father would never forgive me if I left you here. No, 
Mama, how's Daddy doing? I'm afraid it's all up to the man upstairs. Is there somebody upstairs with Daddy? <laughs> no, Marie. He's like your brain, all alone. <laughs> now sit down and let some blood flow to your head. <laughs> oh, I'll get that. Nell, it's you! Hi, oh, Mama. baby, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you too, Mom. Oh. Marie? <laughs> Is that my baby sister, Marie? Welcome home. Oh, Nell. Oh, you grew up. And you grew out. <laughs> Well, 16 years is too long to be away. Come on in here, girl. Oh, Mama, it feels so good to be home again. Well, Nell, you never told us you had a daughter. <laughs> uh, she's not my daughter, Mama. I thought it was always the man who said he didn't do it. <laughs> uh, Marie, sit down and rest your head some more. <laughs> Everybody, this is Samantha Kaniski. Hi. Hi. It's weird being the minority. I know. <laughs> Honey, this is my mama. How do you Hi. do, Samantha? This is my baby sister, Marie. Hi. Oh, you're the one that used to wet Nell's <laughs> bed. And uh, this is someone I never met before. Oh, this is my husband, Robert. Hi. I own my own business. How nice. How nice. Bob's Bootery. It's a shoe store. Thank you, hon. <laughs> Grant Digby. <laughs> a pleasure to see you again now. And who is this little stranger we have in our midst? Samantha, this is Reverend Digby, my father's assistant. This is one of Chief Kaniski's little girls. Who? The man I live with. Is that right? You're living in a state of sin? No. California. <laughs> Marie? <laughs> oh, Marie. I'm so glad you turned out pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, the doctor just left. It could be any time now. But can I go up and see him now? Well, honey, you know how angry he's been all these years since you ran away. So maybe I better go up and break the ice a little. Okay. Who's that? Why, that's Jesus, child. Really? But I thought Jesus was white. You're kidding. I always thought he was black. Well, maybe Photomat sent you the negative. Everybody has his own picture of Jesus. And he always looks like them. So whites want him white, blacks want him black, and Kermit the Frog wants him green. Tell Daddy I was here? Yes, I did, honey. Good, I'm gonna go up and see him. Nell, you can't. Why not? He doesn't want to see you. You can't mean that. I pleaded with him, but he just wouldn't talk to you. Anyway, I'm glad you're here, sweetheart, for my sake. Th thanks, Mama. Now? I'm sorry. Thank you, baby. I know how you feel. You do? I was just thinking about Mom. What about your mama? Well, before she died, when she was in the hospital, they wouldn't let me in to see her. They said I was too young. I never got to tell her that I loved her. I'm 
I'm sure she knew. I never got to tell her. And now Dad's in New York, and anything can happen to him there. He could get mugged or raped. <laughs> or he could elope with a bag lady. <laughs> oh, don't worry, honey. You'll see your father soon. But what if I don't? I never even hugged him when he left. If I ever see him again, I'm going to tell him that I love him. Every single day of his life. <sighs> Come here. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. What for? A little common sense. That old man upstairs is gonna see me whether he wants to or not. Thanks. Leave me alone, Emma. I'm busy dying. It's not Mama. Then who is it? It's me. I know a lot of me's. Which one are you? Nell. Nell. I once had a horse named Nell. <laughs> it was a loser, too. Ooh, it stinks in here. What's burning? My white owl. <laughs> Daddy, put that out. You're not supposed to be smoking. Look, at this point, I'm not real worried about stunning my growth. <laughs> when I go, you be sure they put an ashtray in my box. Daddy, don't talk like that. And make sure it's just a plain wooden box. No satin lining. They tilt you a little bit and you slide all over the place. <laughs> Can we have a talk? Okay. Pull up a chair. Okay. Some weather we're having. Think it'll rain? <laughs> President Reagan sure got this country in a mess. <laughs> he ought to be one of the nine and a half million unemployed. <laughs> well, been nice talking to you. <laughs> so long. Daddy. Look, you ran away. You left me, you left your mother, and you left the church. And all three of us think you ought to go suck an egg. <laughs> How do you spell dignified? Dignified? Why? I can use it. I'm writing my eulogy. You're writing your own eulogy? Well, what about Reverend Digby? Well, when I finish mine, I'll write his. <laughs> I wish he was going first. Daddy, look, I ran away, but I came back. Why can't you forgive me? Because I knew you had something special when you were 12. The choir was singing Amazing Grace, and your voice came out of there like a bell. You could have been another Mahalia Jackson but you threw it all away to sing in nightclubs. But you always saying that God can hear you anywhere. Yeah, but he doesn't want to pay a cover charge. <laughs> you never change, will you? You're still the same stubborn, stiff old man. I call you. You never talk to me. I write you. You never answer. You want to know one thing, Daddy? In all the years I've been gone, I never stopped loving you. Okay, okay. You don't have a daughter named Nell. But I have a father. Daddy. Daddy. 
when you leave, <laughs> which I hope is going to be real soon, <laughs> send Reverend Porkbelly in here. <laughs> I want to teach him how to read this thing. Bye, Daddy. So long, stranger. to pay final homage to a great man. Amen. Amen. Many of you are probably expecting me to give him one of my fine eulogies. <laughs> However, the Reverend Harper wrote his own, and he gave it to me in a sealed envelope. He asked that it should be read by his runaway daughter, Nell. <laughs> if she's still in town. <laughs> Nell? First, I'd like to say to the Reverend Digby, there's a reason why you're not delivering my eulogy. <laughs> On a hot day, the last thing people need is a big bag of hot air. <laughs> now as to my family. Emma, my dear wife, you've been an honest, God-fearing woman who stood by me and taken my guff for 35 years. But Emma, you got cold feet. If you're ever lucky enough to trap another man, you ought to wear socks to bed. <laughs> Nobody wants to bed down with a pair of frozen drumsticks. <laughs> and that reminds me, for God's sake, woman, do something about your cooking. No man should have to eat prison food in his own home. Amen. <laughs> now, as to my son-in-law, Robert. Mm -hmm. And you, my daughter Marie, married the best man in town. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Too bad for Marie. This is such a small town. <laughs> Marie, you're the daughter whose beauty has always lit up my home. Too bad God gave you the brains of a tree stump. <laughs> Child, you're 28 years old. Stop watching Sesame Street. <laughs> And last, to my oldest daughter, Nell. Nell, when you walked into that room, I wanted to reach out and hug you and say, I love you. But I couldn't do it. Somehow, when you're alive, a man feels like a fool saying, I miss you or my heart aches because you're not around. I'm looking out the window now at the field where you used to play when you were a little girl. <laughs> I can still remember it. The day you came running up to me yelling, Daddy, I caught a rabbit. And you did. <laughs> a big black rabbit with a white stripe down his back. <laughs> I must have given you 10 baths that day. I miss those times, Nell, and I miss you. Thank you for coming back to me, daughter. Now stop this damn blubbering and saying.
That's it.